Hello everyone, peace of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, the topic today is very important. I hope people will, uh, you know, keep this video, save it in your computer, not only in my web page or in favorite. You can download it, post it in your page if you want. This is Musad Ahmad, the book of Baqi Musad al Mukhtarin, Hadith number one two five seven six. This hadith in here is saying that every human being, every mankind, all of them, they are sinners. All of them, no exception. Okay, fine. I'm fine with that. And let me show you how Muhammad contradicts himself. This is the book of Sahih al-Bukhari, hadith number 3177, the book of Anbiya, the chapter about Mary. The Prophet he said every son of Adam will be touched by Satan and this is why when he go out in his birth he scream because of the touch of Satan except Mary and her son so Satan he will touch everyone and everyone will be touched by Satan it's a must no exception except to who Mary and her son you know touched by Satan what does that mean do you know what it's mean? So what Satan do when he touched me? Like, what for? Don't tell me that Satan is attacking me. Like, you know, give me a reason for Satan to touch me. He's touching me for what? He's touching me supposedly to cause me to be a sinner. He is giving me the touch of sin. He is the Satan. He is the evil. So evil is touching me. I am a sinner by his touch. I am an evil by his touch. He started the seed. He put the seed of evil on me by touching me. So Satan is not doing that for fun by touching every baby. And guys, this is mean that Satan right now, he is moving all around the earth and he is touching everybody in his uh, in his belly. Because according to Muhammad, he have to touch you from the both sides. So imagine how many babies we have every second. So imagine what happening to the Satan. I feel sorry for him. This guy, he have to keep busy all day long, moving between all the world, from China to USA to Canada to Australia to Saudi Arabia to touch everybody. Man, this is a very hard job for you, Satan. I feel sorry for you. And only Jesus Christ and his mother Mary, they have a protection. And this is not only in the Hadith. Even the Quran say, Allah saying that Jesus and Mary, they have a protection against the evil evil cannot touch them this is why Muhammad is saying that so this is mean that's all mankind everybody every human will be touched by Satan and Satan have a power over him except who except Jesus and this is what the Quran is saying I will show you the verse this is surah 3 verse 36 I will show you the Islamic translation Allah in here is saying I will protect her and her kid from evil her son whoever this woman she will give birth to he will be protected from evil from Satan in Arabic it says Satan not evil one so Satan have no power over Jesus even in the Quran only say only only you know Satan he is the this is the only two he have no power over them Jesus Christ and Mary do he have a power over Muhammad yes we showed you many verses before about Muhammad the sinner who did a lot of sin okay this is surah 48 verse number 2 and this is tafsir al jalalain and here you will see Allah saying to Muhammad that, that God may forgive you me me remember me huh for your sin what is past of your sin and what is to come Allah is giving open license to Muhammad to forgive him for coming sin and past sin which mean Muhammad is a sinner he did sin in the past and he will sin in the future there's many verses like that but in here I'm not trying to prove anything except that everyone is a sinner even Muhammad but not Jesus look at this we showed you before that in Surah 19 verse 19 the angel came to Mary and he say I am coming here to give you the gift of the Holy Son who is the Holy Son is Jesus so Jesus is holy even from the Quran this is the Islamic translation not mine 
So Jesus is holy, Muhammad as a sinner, as we showed you. What else? Jesus and his mother are protected from evil. No evil, no Satan can get close to touch them, to make them commit sin, which means Allah is saying to us that Jesus is holy. Why Mary herself is protected too? Because of Jesus. Jesus is the reason, because Mary, she is the one who will be the mother of Jesus Christ. So now, the question is the following. Why Satan cannot touch Christ? Satan have power over all and he will touch all except two, Christ and his mother. Now why his mother? Because of Christ. Which means even Mary she will not be touched by Satan because of Christ. Now if we ask Muslims, can Satan touch Allah? They will say no. Why? Because he's God. Okay. So why Satan he can touch Muhammad but he cannot touch Jesus? Uh, 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 because Allah protect him why what do you mean Allah protect him why isn't it a must for every human being your prophet himself he said every human being is a sinner but Jesus is not and Mary is not why because she is the we she is going to be the woman who will carry Jesus Christ because if her mission is a holy mission and because Jesus is holy she will be protected from sin and she will never commit sin otherwise explain to me why every mankind including Adam himself as a sinner including Muhammad himself as a sinner from the Quran except two Jesus Christ and his mother so this is very clear evidence that as long Muhammad himself he is saying every human being is a sinner and it's a must for a human being to do a sin and Jesus Christ is not a sinner this is mean Jesus Christ is holy as we showed you from Surah 19 verse 19 that he is holy and now he insists again that Allah have a special protection to Jesus why because he is holy what is holy mean guys Holy means someone he have no sin at all. Who is the one who don't have sin? Only God. And this is what Muhammad himself saying. Every mankind is a sinner. And suddenly we discover that Jesus is protected from sin. Jesus is not included and even his mother. And why his mother is not included too? Because of Jesus, not because of her. Mary, she will not be sinner because she will be the mother of Jesus Christ so this is a plan of God that Mary she will be holy too why because her mission is holy is the mother of Muhammad touched by Satan according to Muhammad yes not only that Muhammad he said all the pagans they are dirt all of them and this is in the Quran as you see those the pagans they are any clean this is Surah 9 verse 28 you can ask any Muslim is the mother of Muhammad and the father of Muhammad are pagans? They will say yes. So they are any clean. In Arabic actually it's not any clean. They are najis, which means they are equal to pupu. So according to Muhammad mouth himself, his mother and his father, they are equal to pupu. They are dirty. And suddenly we see that Jesus is holy. His mother is holy. And they are not sinners. When every human is a sinner, and Muhammad he is coming from a bad family he is coming from any clean family this is from his mouth and the Quran insists in many places as you see that Muhammad is very sinner even the sin is breaking his back so Jesus is not sinner and he never commits sin and he is holy described in the, in the, in the Quran and he is protected from evil and evil have no power over him so the question why? why Jesus he will not be touched by Satan we will repeat the question again to Muslims can Satan touch Allah they will say no can Satan touch Muhammad yes he did because his prophet he said every human being Satan will touch him which means he already touched Muhammad so why he cannot touch Christ and why Christ is the only one is not sinner and even his mom is not sinner because of him 
she is protected because of him. Why? Who is Jesus Christ to have all of those? So he is holy. He is a creator. He has control over death, over life, over recovery. And not only that, Satan has no power over him, even in the Quran. When Satan has power over Muhammad and over all mankind. Jesus is your God, you Muslims, from your book. We prove it, you better take it before it's too late. Jesus is Lord, Islam is false, Amin. Follow up with more videos. Thank you all.